Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over the Safe Mode Bundler on Meme Tools and how to use it. So what is Safe Mode? Safe Mode allows you to buy your bundle transactions and your dev wallet on Block Zero before any snipers or mebots can enter. This allows you to be the first one in your position before anybody else enters the token and allows you to control your token and the supply. Before we launch our token with Safe Mode, it's important to set up the settings. So in the settings section, make sure to enter your RPC and WebSocket URLs. Uh, and then your funder wallet private keys for both your launcher and your volume modes. Below this, you have a service location option. You can either use Jito. If you have a Jito UUID, it's uh, better to use this uh, or Astrolane. Astrolane, you can uh, get directly from their Discord by opening a ticket there and filling out the form. After you got that ID, you just input that here and that allows you to uh, send your transactions quickly and uh, stops rate limiting from occurring. Once all of this is set up, you can head back to the uh, wallet section here and generate your wallets for safe mode. First use the platform, so launcher, mode, safe, and then you have options to choose from five different wallet groups. Each wallet group can support up to 20 different wallets, so up to 100 wallets you can launch with using safe mode. First thing you wanna do is set up your dev wallet. Click generate here, and this creates your dev wallet. You can export this dev wallet at any time using this button here, and it's recommended you do this so you don't lose the soul in it. Next thing you wanna do is generate your wallets. You can generate wallets here, click how many you wanna generate, so a maximum of 20 in this one wallet group, so let's do 15 and just press generate. These wallets have been generated and then again, you can save them here by exporting wallets onto your PC and it's recommended you do this. You also can import wallets. If you have older wallets uh, or wallets saved on your computer, you can import them here by importing wallets or importing that wallet. Now that this is done, it's time to fund these wallets. Now to fund these wallets, we have three different options in meme tools. You can use the generalized distribute sole option. You can distribute to a single wallet or you can use the meme tools mixer. The Meme Tools Mixer is designed to help you bypass bubble maps and mixes your funds so that they're not detectable on bubble maps. In this video, we'll, we're going to be using the generalized distribute function, but uh, we'll be going into the mixer in a future video in more detail. So to distribute your funds, just click Distribute Soul, enter the amount you want to send to each individual wallet here, and click uh, gen Distribute after you're done doing that, so Distribute. This will distribute uh, 0 0.01 soul to each individual wallet in this wallet group. So as you can see, that uh, transaction has landed. Next thing you want to do is fund your dev wallet. It's important you fund this from either an exchange or from a different phantom wallet if you're not using the meme tools mixer. And this way, this will help uh, not get detected on bubble maps when you're launching your token. So I'm going to fund this from an exchange and I'll be right back. As you can see, my funds have landed from the exchange and I'm ready to launch my token. Another option you have up here is to warm up your wallets. You can warm up these wallets by uh, having trades on them beforehand. And you can use this option up here in meme tools to warm up those wallets. Uh, you can also delete all wallets, but make sure you always save them before you do this. Now let's head back to the launcher section where we head into safe mode. And after you refresh your balance, you can see it's all showing up here and you're ready to launch your token. The first thing you want to do before launching is uh, generate your token address here. So click that and this will be the contract address of your token that you're about to launch. Below that, enter your token metadata. So this is the information about your token. You can quickly clone your token if you have a, a token on pub phone that's already existing. You can clone it here by clicking this and entering the CA, or you can enter in your token name. I'm gonna quickly do this and I'll be right back. As you can see, my settings have been saved. Just click save here, and this will save those settings uh, into the metadata options. So those have been saved. Next thing, let's input our buy settings. So in the buy settings, set your dev buy, your dev tip amount, and then you have the option to either use uh, min max amounts or a custom amount per each wallet. You can edit this uh, according to your needs, but I'll be using the min max option here. Below that is your single buy settings. This is for these buy settings here, which are completely customizable in your settings. And again, set your tip amount here and your slippage here. Slippage is recommended to be between 10 and 20%. Below that, uh, choose your transaction type. So I'm gonna be using Astrolane in this video. And then exchange options, you can choose an exchange to mask your wallet with. So I'll be using uh, Photon here and then click save. For sell settings, similar thing, enter your tip amount, your slippage, uh, your transaction types, so Astro Lane, and then your exchange option, whatever you'd like to do here. Uh, below that is your sell all settings. So this will sell all your wallets uh, as individual transactions. So choose uh, again, your transaction type, your slippage and your tip amount. It's recommended for the sell settings to have a higher tip amount so your transactions land quicker. Below that is your emergency sell all, which sells everything uh, on your uh, meme pool software. Again, have a higher tip of percentage here and slippage, and then you can include your dev wallet in the sell all function and click save. Now that all of that is set up, you're ready to launch your token. To launch, just simply click launch right here, and this will start the launch process. Now that your token is launched, you have uh, the token holdings here. You can see how much each wallet uh, holds of that particular token. 
You can also see your remaining soul balance on this side right here. Here, by clicking this image, you can copy the CEA at any time. And by copying the contact address, you can input this into the pump fund section by adding a token. And then you can use all the volume features here on that token. Uh, going back to the launcher page, you can also uh, do individual cells. So you can do that by clicking the sell button up here and by selling a different percentage. You can do individual buys by clicking uh, these buttons here. And these are fully customizable in the settings here by editing this button here. So for example, 0.001 and then going back to safe mode, you can do that here uh, at any time. Besides this, you can see your bonding curve percentage here of your token. Uh, once, once your token actually starts running, you can see the total uh, PNL here. And this total PNL can also be seen in the PNL section here at the bottom in the safe mode section. Now to sell your positions, uh, you can go here, go to the uh, sell settings here and make sure these are correct again. And then just head to the sell button up here and you can do an individual wallet sell. So let's quickly try that and show you how that works. So sell 100%. As you can see, the token has sold successfully and your balance is updated. You can also do a sell all, which will sell all the tokens individually, or you can do a transfer sell all. Transfer sell all will send all the tokens you hold into the first wallet up here and then sell all the tokens. So it's only one large transaction. Another quick thing, you can always claim rewards by clicking this button up here. Uh, this allows you to claim rewards for migrating to PumpSwap. And by clicking this, once you've migrated, you can claim the rewards directly into your uh, dev wallet here. You can always transfer your tokens around as well. So if you want to transfer these tokens into this wallet, just click this button up here. Below that, we also have auto buy and auto sell. This allows you to set up your buys and sells uh, automated via monitoring that token and then monitoring the, the bonding curve percentage. So let's say you want to buy 0.01 soul until 80% bonding curve is reached from one of your wallets. You can always set that up here and just click start monitoring and save. And then once that is done, so for example, start monitoring uh, from this wallet address here and it'll start monitoring that token and you can see that here. Uh, and then all you have to do from there uh, to start the bot is just click start. So let's just stop that up here and you can see that this stopped the monitoring process. So you can do similar things with auto sell. You can sell uh, individual wallets based on uh, either transfer sell all or uh, sell all percentage or a direct sell all at a certain, a certain bonding curve percentage. So you can do that here. And again, just click start monitoring for that. Now to exit our position, I'll show you guys a transfer sell all, which will use the top wallet here to do a sell all. So we just click this and it will do a transfer sell all. So token successfully transferred and sold, as you can see. And if I refresh the balance, uh, you can see that they've all, they've all sold into my dev wallet up here and that balance is updated. So that's a quick rundown of how to use safe mode. Now to refund your wallets, just go into the wallet section here, uh, go to uh, safe mode. And as you can see, your balance is updated here. And to do a single wallet refund, just click this button here, click the wallet you want to refund and enter the address. And to do a, a refund of all the wallets, just click refund soul, enter the address you want to uh, refund back to and click confirm. Also something you can do after that is close token accounts. This will send back uh, approximately 0.0025 soul per wallet. Uh, so just enter your refund address and this will uh, send that soul back into your dev wallet. So that's a quick rundown of how to use safe mode, how to set it up and how to refund your soul. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out in our Discord.